Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsorry.com. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about three major classes of pigments in photosynthesis. We'll be finding answers to the following questions. What are the pigments in photosynthesis? What is the site of pigments? Three major classes of pigments and the characteristics of each pigment in detail. First of all, starting with the basics of pigments in photosynthesis. Pigments are chemicals that can absorb light in the visible region this is a visible region that is from 400 to 700 nanometer and these pigments include chlorophyll carotenoids xanthophylls phycourethrene and phycocyanin chlorophyll is the most predominant pigment that is why these leaves appear green these pigments are located on an organelle which is called as the chloroplast in leaf inside the chloroplast there is thylakoid this stack is called as granum and each unit is called as thylakoid and this is an enlarged view of this thylakoid. This is a thylakoid membrane. So pigments are actually located on the thylakoid membrane. You can see for us photosystem 2 and photosystem 1, these pigments are located and these pigments can absorb light energy and convert it into chemical energy as ATP and NADPH. We call it as light dependent reaction of photosynthesis. So these are amazing chemicals capable of converting the light energy from the sun and keep making it into converting it into chemical energy as ATP and NADPH that is utilized for the formation of glucose in dark reaction or light independent reaction. Now moving into the details of different types of photosynthetic pigments. This is there are principal pigment which includes chlorophyll A that is present in all plants and also bacteria chlorophyll that is present in bacteria. Accessory pigments include chlorophyll B, C, D, etc. Carotenoids, which is somewhat yellow or orange red in color, that includes carotene and xanthophyll. Then phycopilins, the third class, that includes phycoerythrin and phycocyanin. Moving into the detail of each pigment. Chlorophyll A. Chlorophyll A is a primary pigment in all plants. Chlorophyll A, the structure of chlorophyll A, you can see there is a central magnesium that is surrounded by four nitrogen atoms and altogether this structure is called as a tetrapyrrole or porphyrin head. The formula is 6C55H72O5N4MG. This is a hydrophilic pyrrole head and this is the phytol tail which is hydrophobic that is embedded in the thylakoid membrane. And this one two three four these rings are joined by methane group and maximum absorption is in the red and blue region and reflects green light that's why the leaves appear green it's bluish green pigment and the side group at the second ring this is a second ring the side group at the second ring is a methyl group that is a ch3 group second principal pigment that is bacterial chlorophyll in bacterial chlorophyll which is primary pigment in green and purple sulfur bacteria the formula is C55 H74 O6 N4 Mg. It's a reddish purple pigment with the side group in the CH3 position. It is having CH3C double bond O in the first ring. The maximum absorption is in the infrared region that is greater than 720 nanometer. Now accessory pigments. Accessory pigments, first one is chlorophyll B that is present in blue green algae and also in all green plants. Chlorophyll B is same as that of the chlorophyll A except that in the second ring the side group instead of methyl group in chlorophyll A it is CHO group in chlorophyll B. The formula is C55H70O6N4MG. The rest is the same. Maximum absorption at red and blue region and reflex green light. The only difference from chlorophyll A and B is in chlorophyll B, the side group in the second region, in the second ring, the side group is a CHO group rather than a CH3 group as in chlorophyll A. Now the second class of pigments, that is X-ray pigment, that is the carotenoids. It includes carotene and xanthophyll. Carotenoids are accessory pigments in all plants. Beta-carotene is an example. C40, H56 is a formula. Red or orange colored hydrocarbons, maximum absorption in the blue violet region. Whereas xanthophylls are oxygenated carotenes, it can be called as oxygenated carotenes. Example is lutein C40H56O2. You can see that this is oxygenated. Brown or yellow colored oxygenated hydrocarbons. 
These are responsible for the color of autumn leaves. This is a yellow color of carrot of xanthophyll and reddish color, reddish orange color of carotenoids. As the leaf matures, the chlorophyll deteriorates and is replaced by these accessory pigments, carotenoids and xanthophylls. That is why ripened leaf appear as orange or yellowish. Next class of pigments is the phycopilins that include phycoerythrin and phycocyanin. And this is the structure. Phycoerythrin, these are accessory pigments in red algae and cyanobacteria or blue-green algae. It's water-soluble pigment and this is volvox, that is a blue-green algae. And also in red algae, this is laminaria. This is red colored and maximum absorption dim and blue green light. Whereas phycocyanin is a bluish pigment that is present in red algae and blue green algae. It's also water soluble, it's blue colored, and maximum absorption, it's extra orange and red light. And that these pigments enable the algae to live in deep underwaters of sea due to the property of these pigments. And this is a summary of what we have discussed. Hope things are clear. You are with biologyexamsorry.com. Thank you so much for your support.